Hey friend, Mark from The Spark here. Good to have you with me again. Over the last year, I've made quite a few videos about my Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition and the Kindle Scribe as well. Yet the only accessory I've got for my Kindle is the case, the cover uh, that I bought with it. And I was wondering, what other kind of accessories can you actually buy for the Kindle Paperwhite? So in this video, I'm going to have a look, I'm going to buy some if they exist, and then we're going to unbox them and check them out. Okay, so let's dig in. Okay, here we are. Let's search for Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition Accessories. All right, okay, so I've already got a charging dock. Um, I did show that off when I originally bought my Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. What else can we get here? Okay, a new pro screen protector. Now it's Amazon's choice. So let's uh, let's buy that, add to basket. What else have we got going on here? Okay, looks like there's only really cases and protectors. Um, oh, this is quite interesting. The Moco case for Kindle Paperwhite and Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition, ultra clear soft flexible transparent skin bumper <laughs> and this particular one uh, is clear glitter uh, yeah all right add to basket okay I'll get glittery back that'd be lovely if I find another one let me see if there's any any more let's come back so that's two we found two accessories oh what's this we've got a oh another mocha mocha seem to be making quite a few of these uh, accessories that are available. A Moco security hand strap. I read a lot in the back, maybe that'll be helpful to keep hold of it a little bit better. Uh, let's add that to my skip. Okay, what's this one here? Okay, this is a clear case. So rather than that one that's got the glitter on it, maybe this one with reinforced corners might be better than that one. I'll add that to basket. Might get both cases and compare them. Uh, both not cases, they're back protectors. Okay, what else have we got going on here? Anything else? I thought, I just thought there might be more, like, you know, out of the box ideas. Let me go back to Kindle Accessories Paper. Let's try a different, different search parameter. All right, okay. So it looks like the most you can get are, obviously there's tons of cases. Uh, some of the kind of back protective things that we've got as well. We've got the holder. Just kind of imagine there might be a bit more of a, an imaginative, maybe there's just not that many problems to solve with the Kindle, it's just so good. All right, let's pick another another case. Right, this one, we'll do another Moco. Uh, definitely, definitely all right, yeah. Yeah, it fits my size. Looks like it's got several ways of, of propping it open. This kind of weird way that you secure it. All right, okay, well, I'm not having rose gold. Um, let's see what the green turquoise pink. That one. Any daisy flag. Any more of the different patterns on? No, I don't like that. Don't like that. Let's just go with, with the black one. Can we go with the black one? Alright, okay. Add to basket. Ooh, proceed to basket. We spent 60 quid. Okay, I'm not gonna get the clear glitter one. I'm gonna delete that item. I've already got a back case that I want to investigate. So there's not actually that many accessories you can get. There's loads of cases. Uh, and um, kind of screen protectors and things, but there's not actually that many other things that you can buy. But I found some stuff. Let's click buy now. And there we go. Okay, the next time you see me, all these things will be on this table. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and we've got some stuff to look at. All right, okay, let's begin. So I've got my Kindle. Let's take it out of its case and turn it off. And then we'll look at the first thing that we have got. Let's go with the smallest thing. And that is this, the, what do they, what do they call it? The security hand strap for six to eight inch e-readers and tablets. Okay. I'm still disappointed that they're, hang on. There wasn't many more accessories you could get. Okay, here we go. So it's a very basic strap, very simple design. It's pretty, looks pretty 
tight and secure. Looks like nothing's gonna kind of come out of there. And it, that's quite a strong um, tension, you call it, wouldn't you? And I guess the simple thing is just to give this a go and put it on. So I imagine it goes there and there. And yeah, looks really, really neat. Um, doesn't add really any weight to your Kindle whatsoever. But I guess the proof is, does it make it easier to hold in certain situations? Well, maybe that's the wrong, if you're left-handed, that would be quite good, I guess. <laughs> Let me put it on the right side. Here we go. Corner to corner is one way of putting it on there. And yeah, it's okay. It's okay like that, but it's, it's a bit of an unnatural hold because I normally just want to hold it like that. So, yeah, it's it's all right. It does a job, I guess, of keeping it to secure to your hand, but then my hand doesn't really want to do that um, that often. I kind of hold it like that. Maybe if I move this and put it from the top to the bottom, there's still tension there. So, there we go. Um, is that a little bit useful? Well, that kind of moves around. So... It is from there to there. And I guess if you want to hold your Kindle like that and then you can keep it secure, it does a job-ish. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think it's needed. I, I want to hold it there. There's, there's no real need for me to do that. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's not a winner in my book. Should we give these things an out of 10? Let's get, that's will be cool. Let's, let's go a little tighter. Out of five, shall we? Um, I think it does what it does the job. It does what it said it would do. Um, so maybe two out of 10. Two out of 10. I don't think it's that useful. But hey, maybe for somebody who isn't able to kind of hold like that, maybe that's uncomfortable um, to be able to hold something like that where you're not having to squeeze or anything. Okay, actually thinking more about it, more of an accessibility thing that could be really helpful. So I'm going to bump it up to a three. There we are. All right, this one's the, let me have a look. Uh, it doesn't even remind me what it was. It, it just a, it's just a, a back case is this one, a back protector. Now this one says Kindle Paperwhite 5. I did order one that was for my device. So I don't, I'm not sure where this will fit. But let's, Give it a go, let's open it up, see what happens. Loads of plastic, as there always is. The thing about this is, like, how much will it yellow over time? Because I think that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? With kind of this clear plastic stuff. Like, they tend to yellow quite quickly. Well, it said Kindle Paperwhite 5, and it had, there's a picture of an, uh, an, a, an older generation iPad mini on there. Not, and that's even the screen of an iPad mini. Not quite sure what's going on there. Hey anyway, it does seem to fit this quite well. There we are. Okay. That looks quite that's quite neat, actually. Okay. Yeah, it certainly gives it some protection. I'll turn it off corners, super duper protection, kind of extra strength in there. Um, and then here on the bottom, I hope you can see that it's got a little kind of plastic gubbins here that you know pushes directly onto the power. It's even got a little hole there for the for the light, so it's going on or off. And then you've clearly got space for the USB C there. There we go. That's that's quite nice. If I didn't have this, which is one of the kind of uh, first party Amazon cases for it uh, and you know I, I just wanted something to protect the back I forget we've got this coming up as well that'll protect the front um, and that's quite nice it's actually quite rubbery ish I don't know how to describe it I mean it's plastic but it's I don't know, it's kind of got that rubbery plasticky feel anyway that's that doesn't add really any weight to this thing that you've got already. So yeah, quite good. So this thing, it does what it said in the tin over time. Would it yellow and would it make it look a bit more horrible? I don't know. Fingerprints aren't that 
Um, can't see fingerprints much on it. Um, I'm going to give this. I'm going to give it a five out of five. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin, doesn't it? Takes your device. Nice and rubbery. You can hold it well. Yeah, that's good. Well done. What have we got coming up here? This is the Moco powered by ideas, cast smart life. We hope you never have the need, but if you do, our service is friendly and hassle dash free. Yeah. So it's the Moco case for six to 6.8 inch ebook readers, tablets, black. Okay, there we go. Looks quite, it's quite nice. Nice kind of threading around the edges here. Does it smell like leather? No, it's not really leather, is it? It's not artificial. And throw that away there, throw that away there. Okay, what have we got? What have we got here? What, what, what's... Of course, it's for doing that, isn't it? Okay, well, after that um, brain freeze, we finally figured it out. Okay, I'll take this back off here as well, just because I want to give it every chance of, of working well. So it's the biggest of the lot. So this is a kind of a rubbery, a very rubbery kind of feel to it. Um, and I guess looking at remembering what the Amazon listing was, it goes in there. That's all right. There we go. Not gonna, not gonna come out of there. That's pretty, pretty firmly in there. And there we are. Looks pretty nice. And it's got this on the back here. What is, what's that for? Right, 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 got you, got you, yeah, 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 yeah. So, goes like that, into there, and you can, you do put it into the landscape, because you can put the Kindle Signature White uh, edition into the landscape, you can do that with the Oasis as well. Um, I'm doing it exactly like it says there on the screen. There we go, so it raises it up a little bit for you. Um, you can also do it that way as well. Although that's not, that's not great. That doesn't really, that doesn't really work. There we are. No, that doesn't really work. Uh, and then obviously, um, we've got this here like this. There we go, I hope you can see that. I'll pull this one out of here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. That's good. Yeah, sounds quite nicely on there, like that. You can turn the pages. Um, so that crap, that doesn't, doesn't do much at all. Um, and I'm looking at the picture here. Um, raises up a little bit like that there, but you can't you can't do that there. That doesn't that doesn't work. So this is a neat little case, carry case, keep it safe in your bag. Looks nice, looks good, the stitching seems okay. The strap works, again, you know, you can't hold things like that and that's quite good. Um, it's a bit bulky, it does add quite a bit to your device, but yeah, makes it look, makes it look cool. And yeah, it gives it real, real protection. I, I think all that does tend to slide that way, which then reveals that. Hmm. There we are. Okay, so what do I give this? Um, I'm going to give this a three and a half out of five um, because that thing didn't work very well. You can't stand it up like that, um, and it's it's a bit kind of loosey goosey uh, in terms of its protection. So yeah, I reckon three three and a half out of five. It's fair. Okay, so the final one here is the new pro um, Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition 11th Generation 2020 One Release Screen Protector. Okay, so let's get this out. Okay, I've never once put a screen protector on my Kindles at all, um, and I think they've all been fine. Obviously, I've done it on my iPads and my phones and what have you, but never on this thing here. So what do we get? We get what you would expect if you've ever put a screen protect on, you'll know what you're gonna get. So a little hard card there to squish the bubbles out, some dust absorbers there to get the final bits of crap that's falling onto, <laughs> onto the screen once you've cleaned it. 
uh, a little cloth here. Give that initial paint. No, no wipe. You normally get like a little baby wipe esque thing to, to give it a, a clean, but not on, not this time. Okay, you get two. That's quite good. You get two clean money. There you go. And what have we got here? And it just tells you about the product. There's no instructions other than what's on here. It's not that complicated, is it? So we'll give it a wipe. A little dust absorbing thing. Try and get some last flicks of dust that have decided to come back down and join us. And then finally, we'll get one of these, this out of here. Oh, I see. So one, two. Oh, yeah, because there's a. I've never noticed that before on these. There's a, a sensor here at the top. That's obviously to help with the light, you know, so if it needs to dim, dim or light, lighten the screen, brighten the screen. So I'm going to try and line up using that. That's good. And then we'll take this bit off here. There we go. And then hopefully I'll just lie flat on there. And then we'll use this bit. It'll eventually all disappear as well. Oh man, I've done it too close to the top. So the bubble's actually got nowhere to escape, but there is a slight edge on this. Oh man, I feel like I need to do my take off. The bottom. Top. Okay, a bit better. Nice satisfying pop when it comes out of the top. Let's turn it on. And obviously the bubbles, apart from what's on here, we can um, you can still see that. That is going to you're not going to see them now. It may give the device some protection, but immediately I'm noticing a sheen on this. I don't know if you can see, but I can certainly see. I've got fancy lights up here in the office, and I can see them now reflected, whereas I couldn't see them reflected before on uh, the device because it was kind of a matte finish right now it's a shiny ish finish it's not too bad but i would imagine in the sun that's probably going to be quite annoying if i've got a light over here i'm going to redirect my light what's it like actually it's not, not too bad maybe it wouldn't be too bad in the sun all right okay so it's going to protect your screen quite evidently um you are going to have to deal with these bubbles and position it right because they don't give you any kind of equipment to enable you to do that um but it does make it more reflective so it's doing the job and maybe if i put it on better these bubbles won't be such an issue i mean it is doing the job it will protect your screen it won't interfere i would imagine with a kindle case that i have already uh nope and on as well no, not at all. However, um, it does make it a little bit shinier. So, would I recommend getting a screen protector? Well, I think if you're combining it with, where's it gone? I think if you like the look of these and, and you want to use it with that, and so it gives it kind of some all round protection, then, then yeah, it, it's probably worth it. However, if you, use a case like this like I have then I personally don't think you need one on here because not once in the years I've had a Kindle have I ever scratched the screen um, dented it in any way because I've generally bought a case to, to put it in and use use it so if I'm traveling or whatever it's generally when scratches happen isn't it um, it's protected there's not much wobble on there in fact it's, it's closed by magnets so unlike this one um, all, all the corners are kind of protected at all times. So um, I'm going to give the screen protector, I'm going to give that 4.7 out of 5, just because it makes it that little bit more reflective than I think it should. Okay, so they are the Kindle accessories that I could find on Amazon, aside from a couple that I didn't think were worth getting. Um, 
what do you think? What Kindle accessories have you come across that I need to have a little look at that I haven't, you know, I haven't thought about, you know, and so imaginative person solved a problem I didn't know was there. Or isn't there really that much of a problem to solve other than a case of which there is a plethora uh, that you can buy? Okay, let me know in the comments. Please do subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed what you've seen. And go check out, I don't know, let's pick a random video here. That one there, um, that will um, give you the deep dive that I went into on this Kindle Paperweight Signature Edition. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, until the next video, happy shopping? <laughs>